Hey everybody, I hope that you're doing well. This reading is going to be, I feel like doing one for Cancerians today. I know I was cutting back, but I kind of miss doing some of the other signs. So Cancerians, Spirit, what do we have for Cancerians? Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Please note they're general messages so they won't resonate with everybody. So just take what does and leave the rest. If you want a reading that is channeled and specific to your situation, please go ahead and book on my website and you can find a link in the description box below. Cancerians. Oh, bless. Situation right now, sad embrace. What's going on? You feeling a little down? Feeling a little sad right now? Have things been taking its toll? Things been a little tough as of late? Maybe you've been in solitude for a while and because of it, you just haven't been feeling connected with others because of the way that she's holding herself there. That's what I'm feeling. And the challenge is heal the ouch but it came out in reverse, okay? So something's going on here, Cancerians. You're not healing from something. And maybe that's what that sad embrace is speaking about. Is there something that you're holding on to from the past or something that happened recently? It doesn't even have to be the past, but something that, that you're holding on to that's making you a little bit sad. And maybe the reason why is because if you did actually let it flow, it would be like a river and you don't want to go there. Just don't want to go there right now. Spirit of place in reverse. Okay. Some of you may not feel as though you, you belong in the world. You might be wanting to control an outcome to a certain situation instead of um, letting the leaves fall as they will. But I, I just feel a real sense of solitude and um, being on your own right now. I feel like you're going through growth, though. And as you're healing, you're going to start feeling like you belong again, right? We're going to turn that upright. Feeling as though you see that you have a purpose. In the recent past, oh, very interesting. Protecting treasure. I think in this aspect, the treasure could be yourself, or it's possible that you were trying to hold on tightly to money, could have been materialistic things, and maybe that brought you a sense of comfort. But now that you've got this, this treasure, and, and you've worked so hard for everything that you've got, maybe you're feeling a little bit empty now because you don't have someone to share it with. Or maybe it just makes you feel a little bit like, well, now that I have all of this money or all of these materialisms, what do I do with it? Interesting. Your focus is ride the wave. That's good. That's great, Kansarians. I think whatever it is that you're going through, you're starting to release control and you're just going with the flow. And maybe that's what you're learning to focus on because this card is a 14. So four plus one is five, which means changes. Changes that came from conflict of some sort. That could have been inner conflict or it could have been external. But I really get this feeling of the lone wolf. You've been going at it all on your own. In the near future, woo, you've got unexpected visitors. Okay, so this is good. And... This sad embrace at a nine is almost at completion. So this could be saying that this loneliness you've been experiencing or this desolate island that you feel like you've been on, it's going to change. People are going to be coming again, 41. So four plus one is five changes. Somebody's going to be coming along for you, my, my Cancerian. Somebody's going to show up in your life that you just didn't expect. So let's get some clarification on this. Please, Spirit, what do we have for sad embrace for the Cancerians? 
sad embrace. There we go. Not feeling so confident. That could be the case. Or maybe you were just sad. Some of you, maybe your kids have left home as of late, but um, just not venturing out into the world much. And of course, that could be due to lockdowns and the COVID situation. But you've been just tightly wrapped into yourself and into your shell. Maybe that's where you're feeling safest at the moment. But I think what Spirit is saying is now it's time to draw on that youthful energy, that that new spark that's going to be coming into your life. And that could be what that unexpected visitor is. Could be a Libra or no, sorry, uh, it's fire sign. So it could be a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. What is heal the ouch in reverse? There you are. Well, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Could be a father figure of some sort. But this is also about seeking counseling. Um, and it might be a good idea to do so because you're hiding those emotions inside. And now it's time to release them. It's, it's time to release them so that you can start again and feel cleansed, feel brand new in the world. What do we got for spirit of place in reverse, please? Whoops. Your car jumped on the floor here. Beautiful. Okay, interesting. You've got the seven of swords here. So being strategic, okay? Being strategic, laying low, again, being a lone wolf, going at it by yourself. And maybe even feeling like you've had to do it on your own for so long. But that's going to change. What is this protecting treasure? Yeah, so there's that conflict in the past. Could have been dealing with a Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. There's something that you felt that you had, the, you had to protect here. And whether that was yourself and your own emotions. Or, again, materialisms. That could have caused, caused some fighting. If there was a recent breakup, there could have been fighting over money or a house or a car. There could have been a lot of arguing over assets. But I feel like somebody came in, or you did, and really gave a tongue lashing to someone who very bluntly stated how you felt about a situation. What is Ride the Wave? There it is, more fire energy. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. There's a need for travel here, and that could be what's going on. Maybe some of you are going to, as soon as travel restrictions are eased, you might be going to a place that has a lot of water, maybe near the ocean, and it's going to cleanse you, and you're going to enjoy it. It's going to bring your confidence back. Some of you might even get into a long-distance relationship. Holiday romance. What is unexpected visitors, please, for Cancerians? Ace of Pentacles. See, a new beginning, brand new beginning. This could be in terms of a job or new opportunities to make more money, or this could be a new abundant opportunity of some sort. Okay. Maybe if you felt as though you lost materialisms in the past things could change as now you're able to focus more on getting out and about and living life and as you live life and enjoy it new opportunities make themselves available to you that ace of pentacles too maybe you're gonna get a new boss let's see what we got here new opportunities see Look at that, choices, a lot of choices. That's clarifying that Ace of Pentacles. So you definitely have a lot of beautiful stuff coming in this new future, brand new beginnings for you. You're gonna start feeling more secure. You're gonna feel more alive. That's what I'm hearing right now is about feeling alive. And maybe even if you're not taking a trip to any water, maybe have a nice salt bath or I don't know, just a bubble bath for that matter, just enjoy being in the water and cleansing yourself, cleansing the energies of, of yesterday. Spirit of place, maybe somebody was sneaky, maybe, maybe they made off 
with some of your stuff under your nose. Maybe you felt like you were betrayed or stolen from, but this is all changing. And there's more opportunities here that are coming your way, which is awesome, in my opinion. I'm just, I, I'm feeling good energy from that. Surrender to the magic of who you are. That's right. We all have magic in us, even in the mundane aspects of life. Remember that you are a magical being with a uniqueness and worth that come from just being you. Absolutely. So I think that that is what spirit is trying to give you in terms of advice for um, spirit of place in reverse. You are magical. You have a purpose. You have a place. And you are needed. You don't even know how you affect the environment and the people and the situations around you. You won't know, not until it's time to cross over and you get to see the replay of your life. What a, ooh! You have no idea how maybe just one hug saved somebody's life that you gave them. You have no idea how just one word saved somebody from hurting themselves. You just don't know. And surrender to setting limits. It's healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that a no is a complete sentence. And maybe that's the thing. Maybe you felt very taken advantage of in the past and that's why you ended up lashing out, right? And you were protecting yourself, but it got to a point where you blew. So this is an opportunity now to start respecting yourself by setting limits. And it also gives you the practice. So the more practice you have and surrender to silence, beautiful. So that I feel is, is that sad embrace. Don't be sad because in quiet meditation or contemplation, let go and enter the stillness within. Silence can heal and replenish you, which is exactly what I feel that you've needed. Where was that other card? This one you've needed in terms of healing the ouch, right? It was something deep within and something that's been deeply rooted for a while. And now you're able to spend that time and you get wiser. And once you get past that nine, you're at the 10. And that's just what you're going through. So spirit is saying, keep going, okay? Just keep going through this. You got this. All right, you guys, have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you again soon. Bye.